Greetings, WordPressers. In today's show, we're going to absolutely wreck your website. No, really. Jackson here. Welcome to the channel. This is my home on the interwebs for all things WordPress. And if you like a bit of WordPress, I do encourage you to subscribe if you're new here. Uh, and uh, check out the show notes below. It's got all the uh, links and descriptions and all that jazz. Now, this is another one of those quick tip tutorials just to help me ease back into a little bit of vid making after I've been taking a little bit of a sabbatical. And today's tutorial is all about a wonderful plugin called WP Reset. Now, I had a really good conversation with Gordon uh, from WP Reset last year. Fantastic chap uh, with a fantastic plugin and some good vibes. Now, I'll be honest with you right now, this is not a plugin that you want to use on a live site that you want to keep. WP Reset does what it says in uh, on <laughs> does what it says on the tin. It will reset your WordPress website back to a vanilla fresh install state. It kills your content. It deletes all your pages, all your posts, all your menus. It is death to your website. So please, I please, 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 please don't use this on a live site or on a site that you're building that you want to do something with. This is specifically good if you like mucking around with themes or if you want to demo some themes, demo content, templates. It's brilliant. It means you don't have to do a whole lot of manual deleting. And it also means you don't have to spin up countless copies of WordPress when you just want to try stuff out every single time. So here we go with today's very short but very concise WordPress tutorial of the plugin WP Reset. Right then, let's do some resetting of our WordPress website. And I won't say this again, although I probably will say it again. This is completely destructive. This will destroy your website. So do not use it on a live site. Do not use it on a demo site that you're developing. This is purely for testing out plugins, theme installs, mucking around with a WordPress installation and getting it back to vanilla style whenever you want to. Okay, so I think we're clear. Here we have a demo site that I've been working on and you can see that it has got all the content and all completely different to a vanilla install of WordPress. So we're gonna go now and we're gonna install WP Reset. So let's go to plugins and add new. We're gonna do a search for WP Reset, and there's our fella, 200,000 active installs now. We're gonna click Install now, and once it's installed, let's hit that Activate button, and we should get, once it's activated, a little pop-up, there it is, uh, with a little tour-style tool tips. We can just use that to immediately go to the W Reset Settings, and if we can scroll down, we can check out the different options. There's now a pro version, very good stuff. I did have a good chat with the founder of WP Reset last year and a very nice chap he was too. So this basically tells you what's gonna go on when you click that reset button. Uh, also, there's some other tab up here which we'll have a little look at in just a second. But for now, this is as easy as it gets to reset your website back to vanilla WordPress. So let's do it. Let's type in our text here, click reset the site. And as you will see, the warning says it all. Are you sure you want to reset the site? Clicking reset WordPress will reset your site to default values. All content will be lost. Are we clear now? Are we totally clear now? All right, so let's go for it. Reset WordPress. Resetting is in progress. And it's not a massive site, so that should be done in just a few seconds. And there you go. The site is reset. If we go have a look at pages, just dismiss that. We'll see we're back to privacy policy in the sample page. Our pages have been deleted. You have been warned. Any posts that we have are all, are all gone. Comments, plugins. Well, the plugins that are on the site have actually just been switched to deactivated. And this is handy if you're using a, a theme and you just want to test multiple demo templates and that sort of thing, because it means you don't have to download the plugins every time. So if we go to, uh, back to this front end tab that I've got open here, Norman O'Norman, are you there, Norman? 
refresh that. No, you're not. We're back to uh, 2020 theme. Hello, world. The site has been completely reset and it really is as simple as that. Now you can crack on and install a new theme, install a new demo content and just muck around with the same. Install a WordPress till the cows come home, saving you a ton of time having to create brand new installs of WordPress or do manual deletions and all that sort of jazz. Uh, if we go and have a look at the settings of WP Reset, there's also some other tools here which are quite handy if you are wanting to do a little bit more tidying up which is we can delete transients and purge, purge caches and delete any themes and also plugins and stuff like that. So you can give it a full on clear out, which is kind of cool. But if you're just mucking around with a single site, it's an absolute go to my highest of recommendations, WP Reset. There you have it, WordPressers. That was WP Reset. Very, very quick version of. We'll be diving into the pro version of that at some point in the not too distant future. But in the meantime, get some comments in below. Tell me what you think. Is there anything that you like better than Reset? What's your experiences with it? Or any other thoughts or feelings you might have on the subject of resetting your WordPress website. But anyway, until next time, I shall see you later.